What is going on, people? We welcome you to the Regano Off and it is time for evolution. So, in today's video, I'm going to be uh, showing you guys a quick. Uh, this is going to be like a, a part two of part one I did last week. So, now part two, we're going to do this part with uh, you know the chest, the, the, the arm motion. You know, we're still drawing the front chest, the, the, fr the front chest. But at the same time, I'm showing you guys the, the motion of the arm and the pecs and how how that uh, how that comes into play. So this time the arms are like going to form a, a T pose. And you know, certain things that you want to look out for when you're drawing a uh, a T pose for rather it's a man or a female that's gonna be coming up uh, soon later in the video. And so yeah, right now I'm doing the, the basic uh, foundations that I did or I showed you guys uh, like previously in the first video. The only difference is is the is the, the the pec muscles, the pec muscles. Now you can see that how the pec muscles are kind of making this bird shaped figure over there and also how it's how the circle, the circle, the foundation circle is coming out of this uh this i guess the 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 the, the, the other part of the, the of that bird wing if that makes sense so it's coming out of there you know and also for the the deltoids that i'm making right now they kind of look like halfway uh halfway uh bowling balls and i'm going to show you guys like a, i'm going to draw like little markers you know even in the video with with the highlights so one th tip I like to think about whenever I'm elevating the arms is one, the bird wing, like envisioning and imagining the bird wing. And also at the same time as you're elevating the arms or you're making the T pose, uh, as you're doing that, it kind of looks like you're, the human being is kind of flapping his wings or getting ready to like take off. They, 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 launch, their, they, they launch their wings up, you know, or their arms up right so the chest is kind of making the same outline shape there as uh, as pointed out in the previous video oh, or or as pointed out yes in the previous video and earlier on this video where i showed you guys like the bird picture so it's kind of making that 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 motion or is it kind of it, it looks similar to that and so right now i'm using the blue highlight highlight marker to kind of uh show you guys like the foundation of the like the basic circle and you know i went over that in the first episode and also what i'm doing right now is kind of like aligning it aligning uh certain things together but i'll, I'll be showing you guys with the, the with the highlight uh with the highlights when i uh, get to that And so yeah, I'm proceeding with the blue marker, and you know this is just the basic uh, circle shape. Males are wide, uh, and females are more uh, are more uh, narrow in this, you know. And so the with the the yellow the yellow highlight marker is kind of highlighting the the, the, the deltoid muscle of the, of the male, and it kind of looks similar to a bowling ball, but cut it in half. You know as drawn there so it looks similar to a a, uh, a bowling ball but imagine you cutting it in half you know if, if from this angle you know from this angle specifically from that angle there you know And so the, the the ones that I highlighted in orange are the uh, the trapezius muscles. And you know, as you, as you're squishing or as you're uh, bringing your arms up, the trapezius muscles kind of squish. They squish inward. You know, and like the, yeah, they squish inward in between the neck and where the deltas are at because you're elevating your arm. Mm -hmm. So what I'm again, I'm just highlighting. I'm drawing the bird figure. Uh, and the bird figure is you is you, you can you, you see this everywhere in the in the human body so you know just understand you know on finding like different parts of like the bird figure for example the chest 
uh, and just and just implement that and so what I'm highlighting here in green is basically where where you know the, the, the foundation circle that is highlighted in blue is basically like where where it's coming from it, where, where you should align it with when you are making your arms a t-pose you know all right so right now we're going to be doing the the female right so females the foundation circle is going to be more narrow uh less wide compared to the male uh we're going to also draw the uh you know the neck entrance or like the neck hole you know where the neck is going to originate from and right now we're drawing the pecs you know the pecs muscle, the pec muscles you know you know usually females don't have pec muscles like this so i'm showing you guys this so that you know where like the breasts are you know originating from uh, i did this in in the first tutorial you know so yeah, I did this in the, like the first tutorial. You could like go check that out. It's more like in detail with that. But pretty much, I'm I'm aligning it. I'm aligning the breasts with the with the the, the, the rib cage opening. You know, because of the body bending and whatnot. So again, I, I go more into detail in the, in the first one. So right now, we're we're forming like an upside down heart shape with a gap in the middle. So just just keep that in mind when you're drawing the breast and also keep also keep in mind like the distance of where the breasts are with the with the with the pec muscles so just so that you get the you know an accurate kind of de depiction so so yeah right now we're just drawing the uh the pecs or the the breasts and you know erasing some things um you also you don't really need if you can like if you know this from memory you don't really need to start off drawing the the i guess the torso you know you can just do this you know without you know drawing the torso or whatnot all right so so right now we're drawing the the clavicle or the neck the the, the collarbone area there and then we're going to just you know start out making like uh but you like the, the the deltoid muscles but also be sure that the deltoid muscles are more you know they're 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 a lot less dominant on the females uh females are more smooth uh there's less there's less structure on females and more and more smooth smoothness on them compared to to males who have more more structure you know and also depending on what kind of character you're making you know so so yeah so right now we're just drawing the uh, the neck area uh, you also want to have less less muscles like less muscle indentation on the female so again again the females are more smooth compared to their to their structure you know and everything is a lot less uh, less dominant you know everything is less when, when it when you're drawing when you're drawing females think think less and, and be 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 more smooth and, and, and like go with the flow you know males are more more structure and, and whatnot you know well yeah we're we're we're, uh, we're completing we're completing the uh we're completing it and also one one thing i, I want to like keep in mind as well uh, also females make this uh make an hourglass shape you know there's an hourglass shape on the females so you you know you can keep that in mind as well as well as with the narrow the narrow circle that i drew as a foundation and so right now there's a little part in called the armpit area Right, so the armpit area is uh, just a tiny little part on the on the female that sticks out whenever you're doing the, the, the T pose. And this sticks out for both male and females. It's smaller on females and it's more prominent and it's more like kind of dominant and, and it just more it shows more on, on males, you know, especially if, if it's a masculine or it's a or the male is has, has more muscle definition, the the armpit area when they make a t-pose has more uh, has more beef to it you know so 
So one thing that you may see that's different from the male to female is that uh, the, the tricep area, right? So the, tr the yeah, the tricep area is more dominant on, on the male. But versus, so I'm doing it right now, I'm highlighting, I'm highlighting it in red, and you see the tricep area is not as visible on the female. The same thing goes for if I were doing, you know, the previous poses. The, on the previous poses, the tricep and that part of the deltoid muscle was visible com as a com And that would be the video. Thank you guys for watching. And stay tuned for part three next week. This time, the, the arms will be in the sky or they're, they're going to be waving up, upwards. So, yeah, stay tuned for that video. And tell me what you think about the video. Tell me if this video has helped you. And tell me if you've learned something from this video. And yeah, peace.